sister sister drama. I hate you. Save it for your therapist, sweetheart. <gasps> ah! Oh no, is her cheek bleeding this time like Miss Toella in More Than Friends? Catherine, you know you made me do that. Girl, what? Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are back with a brand new story on the episode app. This one is called My Sister's Crush. So I've had a few people in the comments before saying, oh, check out My Sister's Crush. So I did. It looks lit just based off the description. So this is a episode curated story that was originally a community one by the author Melissa Levon. I hope I said her name right. So this one, like I said, it's like the episode version of an author written story like some of the other ones I've been reading so far so I'm excited to see how this one turns out let's let's start some drama let's stir the pot let's spill some tea I hope you guys are ready give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it please go follow the amazing author I will leave their social media in my description box down below and without further ado let's start the drama Central High School, present day. Okay, so we made our girly. This is Catherine right here. Her name is Catherine Burke, and today I'm 18. Whatever you've heard, it's probably like, oh no, we already have to start off like this. If you think you know me, you're wrong. You could say I've developed quite a reputation. Not that I asked for it. I'm loved by some, loathed by others, talked about by everyone. Miss Thing is Queen Bee over here. You know what else? I couldn't care less. Now make sure you pay attention. Okay, the next part's gonna get a little intense. Catherine, I'm going to strangle you. Why this time? <laughs> oh, she's blowing kisses out here. Who is this? You realize you've gone totally nut burgers. I hate you. Yeah, I'm not your biggest fan either. Can you get off me now? You've had your drama queen Momo. What, who is this girl? What is she doing tackling us? Did you just call me dramatic? Answer me. You heard me the first time. Oh, I love how sassy Miss Catherine is. Ugh. Why are you trying to ruin my life? You're my sister. Okay, so that's our sister. Now before you put your on your judging pants, I know this seems harsh. She is my twin. But trust me, I absolutely promise she has it coming. Are you done? Ooh, or can I leave before you start getting theatrical again? Oh my gosh. Sister, sister drama. I hate you. Save it for your therapist, sweetheart. <gasps> Oh no, is her cheek bleeding this time like Miss Toella in More Than Friends? Catherine, you know you made me do that. Girl, what? Catherine, listen, don't do anything extreme. Don't you dare. I'll tell mom. Oh, 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 she got sent flying. The Burke twins are going to kill each other. Wondering how two sisters could hate each other so much. If you're assuming it's over a guy, you're partly right. But it goes way deeper than that. Six months ago. All right, we need some context to what this is. That's our mom. She got pregnant with us when she was in high school. And our dad ditched her immediately. Aw, she's been raising us alone ever since. Catherine, Olivia. If I'm late, okay, I thought for some reason her name was like Olivia. For a second, I just wasn't reading the extra I in there. Olivia, coming mom. I'll be there faster. What is Olivia's issue? Customize your room. Oh, we get to customize your room. You can add a cute plushie. Oh, it's a, or a spiky succulent. Oh, how cute is this? We've never had like room cut. Oh. <laughs> that's nice. Back to the story. Believe it or not, that's me. But yet the plushie's still there. I was different back then. Way different. My sister Olivia, though. Catherine. Where are my strappy shoes? The red ones with the pointy heels. Well, I'm not wearing them. Yeah, girl, we'll have sneakers on you and designer. That's hilarious. Hold up. Olivia, why are you coming at us like this? Then what makes you think I have your shoes? You know they're my favorite. This is exactly the kind of petty thing you would do. Girl, the only thing petty standing here is your ass. You're right, I'm insanely jealous. I wish I was feeling all my classes too. Sarcasm is not a good look for you. You could be so pretty if you actually made an effort, you know? I mean, obviously. Okay, insult absorbed. Can you go? I want to finish this last chapter. You're reading? God, my sister is such a loser. 
Okay, considering you're like my least favorite person in the world, I don't care what you think. It's not just me who thinks it. You have no friends, no boyfriend. You never get invited to any parties. I can see your future. You're going to be alone and old with nothing but your books to keep you warm. Oh, Catherine. Believe it or not, my sister and I were inseparable when we were kids. Well, what happened to Olivia? She turned into the wicked witch of the West. We loved being twins. It was nice to always have someone to play with. We used to have a lot in common, but we started to go in different directions. She went from defending me against bullies to becoming one. Our mom doesn't want to believe that she raised an actual mean girl. I really was okay with myself then, but her words, well, I wasn't made of stone. Catherine, I'm not telling you again. I feel so bad for Catherine. Good morning, sweetie. You look lovely today. I'm aware. Honey, I was meaning to ask you, how is your sister doing exactly? Why are you asking me? Because you're her sister. Like, that matters. Don't talk like that. You're family. God, Mom, can we go one second without talking about that loser upstairs? Can you, like... I'm sorry, Mommy. We just had a little argument is all. You know I don't actually mean it. Yes, the hell I do. I know that, sweetie. Girl, you need to be a parent and step in and stop this behavior. I'm just worried about your sister. I'm so proud of her becoming such a good student, but all she does is read and study. She should be going out having fun with friends. Catherine doesn't have any friends, mom. So why don't I invite you to hang out with you and your friends? My friends? Oh my god, there's no way in hell. My friends would eat her alive. Then maybe you need better friends. I get it, Olivia. You're young, beautiful, and popular. At your age, being cool means everything. Exactly. But those things aren't going to last forever, sweaty. You are about to come crumbling down. One day high school will be over, and you will be a nobody, Miss Olivia. No one will care how popular you were in school. All that will matter is the people who care about you and the way you treat them. Oh, girl, I think you girls should spend more time together. You could both learn something from each other. You can show her how to lighten up sometimes and have fun, and she can help you get your head out of the clouds. Hell will freeze over first. Maybe you're right, Mom. In fact, Brittany's mother was going to give us a ride to school today. Catherine could come with us. Then you can go on to work. You're sure her mother won't mind? No problem. But do you mind if I have some money? I like to give it to her mom for gas. Of course you can, honey. That's very sweet of you. This girl is a piece of work. What can I say? I can't help myself. Now get your booty on a work, young lady. Okay. But you sure you'll make sure you get your sister to school? No problem at all. Trust me, mama. Okay. I'm leaving, Catherine. What? You're going to school with Olivia and Brittany. Don't be late. No, wait. Uh-oh. Spoiler a lot. This is not Brittany. In fact, there is no Brittany. Say hello to my sister's flavor of the week. This is Travis Trevor Terrence. I don't know. I can't remember. Why are the bad ones always given the man bun? Like, you know, when you see that in like the episode story, they're a piece of garbage. She changes guys like I change my socks. I'm pretty sure she's only with this one because he's a little older and has a car. Not by very much, but still. Mom would freak out if she knew. So Olivia invented an imaginary friend named Brittany. Why she insisted I tag along today, I'm not sure. She doesn't typically let me anywhere near her boyfriends. So you're Olivia's friend or whatever. Barf, she's my sister. Twins, in fact. No way. I know, right? I got all the pretty jeans. She is the most infuriating person I've ever met. You know what? We are identical twins. We're not letting you go. We are identical twins, at least phenotypically. There is literally no such thing as getting the pretty jeans. Finnahu, listen sis, you may be smart one, but even you can't get away with making up words. I know, I can't believe we're related either. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. Um, not to question your sense of direction or anything, but this isn't the way to school. No shit, we're not going to school. What? You mean ditch? Careful, your loser is showing. If you want to ditch school, that's your business, but I don't ditch school. You take me there this instant. No. What? You're coming with us, loser Catherine. But why? So you don't go snitching. If you ditch too, it's my word against yours. I can blame it all on you. Okay, girl, why can't you just be like a cool sister and be like, 
you know, we're going to have fun today. We're going to try to do something together. Mom will never believe you. She won't because I think she'll believe whatever I want her to believe. Besides, you're a loser with no friends. Who knows the kind of shit you're willing to do to fit in? Go easy on her, babe. If the little loser wants to go to school... If the little loser, first off, you don't know us. You don't know us like this, Trevor. Maybe we should. Never mind. That's what I thought. Why does everyone listen to this girl? She's terrible. Where are we? Someone get me out of here. Olivia, wait. What? Can I speak with you for a moment, please? Ugh. Go on inside. Don't take too long. This is so awkward. Now what is it? Whose house is this? Where are we? One of Trevor's friends. He's gonna... Smoke us out. Oh, he's gonna what? Please tell me that doesn't mean what it sounds like. Since when do you smoke? Don't be so lame. It's nothing too crazy. It's chill, all right? Please just have him take me to school, Liv. I promise I won't tell mom, okay? I'm just really not comfortable with this whole thing. How many times have I told you not to call me Liv? Only people who matter can call me that. No offenses, but I don't care if you're uncomfortable. You're tagging along or I'm blaming the whole thing on you. We both know you'll blame it all on me anyway. So you know what? Who are you calling? Mom, we'll just have to see who she believes. Wait, we'll leave. Just please hang up. Just let me go in and tell Trevor, and then we can leave, okay? Promise you won't call mom. She's gonna do something, like, terrible. Fine, but please hurry up. We're already gonna be late. She's about to do something, like, call her mom and be like, guess what I saw? Come on in, babe. We have a problem. Oh my gosh, and here is our boy that we created right here. Since when did Trevor get hot friends? Uh, babe? Oh, uh, where's your sister or whatever? She's the problem I was referring to. She wants to leave. I know I just walked into this, but why is that an issue? If she wants to leave, then let her. Thank you, Harley. He kind of has a point, Olivia. If she leaves, she'll snitch to our mother. What exactly are you suggesting? I don't like that look. I just thought of a way to get loser Catherine to listen up a little bit. She calls her sister loser Catherine? What did you have in mind? Maybe she needs someone to go out there and sweet talk her a bit. I'm not sure appropriate this is for me to do considering you and I are dating. I wasn't talking about you. Who else is there? <laughs> I'm assuming you're referring to me, considering I'm the only other one in the room. Oh, would you? Would I do what exactly? Would you go out there and flirt with my loser sister a bit? Find a way to keep her mouth shut? What makes you so sure she's going to listen to me? She doesn't even know me. Because you're a hot guy, and she's a friendless loser desperate for attention. She'll be eating out of the palm of your hand. Before you go out there, keep in mind she's not very pretty. But we're twins. So just remember that underneath all that frumpiness is this. You don't think that's kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Mean? Do I think it's mean for an attractive guy to say a few kind words to a girl to boost your self-esteem? I don't know, do you? I hate Olivia. Someone needs to knock her down. Looking back to the beginning of this story, I'm getting my life knowing our girl which smacked her across that floor. Just go out there and talk to her for a minute so we can move on. Fine. She's like, aw, so freaking late. I should not be taking this long. So this is her, huh? Hmm. She very nervously sat in front of the house by herself, staring down at the phone in her hand. She looked so uncomfortable in her surroundings, I felt bad for her. She had noticed me as she seemed to be in her own little world, and something told me being in her own little world was something she was used to. I feel so bad for her. This poor girl. She didn't have a lot of makeup like her sister, not that she needed it. At least I didn't think so. Oh, Harley, so sweet. Her skin was flawless and her hair shined in the sunlight. Even with her glasses, her eyes grabbed a hold of me and didn't let me go. She was naturally a very pretty girl, but there was something about her that seemed very sad and lonely. She interested me, and I couldn't help but wonder what she was thinking. What was going on in her life that made her look so sad? I mean, she has to deal with that girl inside, that's why. I know better than to ask her because it was none of my business. But I hope she has someone in her life that she can talk to. I don't think she does. Someone who makes her feel beautiful because she is. Aw, she really is. Harley's a sweetheart. I stand him. 
I suppose I could stop being a creeper and just talk to her. If she's not out of here in five minutes, I'm going to... Hi there. Yeah, she looks so shook. Oh, wow. Who the hell is this? My bad. Didn't mean to scare you. I'm Harley. You're what's-her-face's sister. How did you know? Lucky guess. You're welcome to come inside, you know. So I assume that this is your house? Guilty. You're the one who is smoking them out. You could try to hide the judgment in your voice. I'm going to assume you don't partake. You would assume correct. Ditching school and compromise my mental capacity isn't really my idea of the perfect date. Oh yeah? What is your idea of the perfect date? You'd think it was stupid. Try me. Did he just wink at me? Well, I like to sit at the train station and watch families and couples reunite after trips. It's really cheesy, but it restores some of my faith in humanity, you know? If I had someone to do it with, we can make up stories about them. Wow, that's actually really sweet. She's so cute and pretty cool. She's certainly one of the most interesting people I've ever met. Now, where's my sister? She said we were leaving. Is my company really so bad? You should come in and hang out for a bit. You can't leave me alone on there with just them. <laughs> no one wants to be with them. You would think you actually liked hanging out with your friends. Your sister is not my friend. No offense. We're not exactly close. Yeah, I kind of sense that. We all see. She seemed kind of a horrible human being. Try sharing the womb with her sometime. She's much more chill than her sister. My sister isn't coming out, is she? She sent you out of here to get me, didn't she? <laughs> Everyone knew. Typical. She always thinks just because she's pitier than me that makes me stupid. A guy like you would never talk to me unless there was a motive. I... It's okay. Just go back inside, please. It's not okay. I can see how important it is to you that you're on school on time. Let me help you out. I can give you a ride to school. Really? Sure, you're funny and you seem chill. Talking to you is way more fun than sitting in there watching them make out. To be honest, I wouldn't mind getting to spend a bit more time with you. That would actually be so amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, this is so nice. Okay. Oh, we're get are we going on a motorcycle? Oh, we're with our little boy over here. Whoa, well, awesome. I thought you were gonna take me in like a car or something. Nope, sorry. Bike's your only option. But it's fast at this rate. I'll have you at school a little early. I've never ridden a motorcycle before. Is it safe? Well, you'll have to wrap your arms around me and hold on tight, but I promise I'll get you to school safely. He's so excited. Internally, he's like, oh, wrap your arms around me. This is the coolest way I'll have ever gotten to school. And there's just something about Harley. I can tell there's more to him than meets the eye. Oh, you're going to find out, girl. You're going to see all of Harley. Hey, if we're going to do this, you should look like a real biker. Put this on. She got her. So are you going to hop on or what? Uh, yes, we're gonna ride off with Harley. Let's do it. Wow, she's down. She is cool. Our girl's amazing. Please don't kill me. <laughs> a promise is a promise. Okay, we zoom into school now. This is incredible. I feel like I'm flying. I thought I would be scared, but I actually feel really safe with Harley. I grabbed on tighter to Harley's strong torso and started to wish school were much farther away. Hey, back there, we're making great time. There's a great lookout just up ahead. It's one of my favorite spots in the city. How about we stop for a minute? Bonus time with Harley? Yes, please. That sounds great. Awesome, hold on. All right, let's go up there, have a moment with him. Wow, this is gorgeous. Girl, are you sure you're going to be at school? Because it looks like the afternoon. Like, school's out, honey. Wow, this is gorgeous. I can't believe I've never been here before. Yeah, I love this place. No matter how crazy my life gets, I can always come here and actually breathe. When I'm here, I feel at peace. I'm just remembering our sweet little girl's gonna turn into a bad bitch soon. Anyway, I don't want to bore you. Why would that bore me? I could definitely use some peaceful escape every now and then. Sometimes I feel like my entire life resolves around, revolves around dodging my sister's attacks. You really don't deserve that. Maybe not, but it's how it is. That's why I really appreciate this, Harley. I hardly think a ride to school is that special. It's not just that. You've gone out of your way to stick up for me. Aw, he's so sweet. I live for this coupling. You have to know that crossing my sister could turn disastrous, even for you. And you don't even know me. I'm not worried about Olivia. Olivia is trash. Must be nice. I'm much more intrigued by you. Ooh, we flirt in. Why is that? It seems like you put up with a lot and you carry it with grace. She does. She does. Tea, tea spilled. And you've got good priorities. Oh, I do, huh? Yeah, you really care about school for one thing. Well, 
School has always been my escape. Ever since I learned to read and discovered I could open a book to be in a whole other place, be a whole other person, you want to be somebody else? Well, sometimes. He's getting closer to her. I think that would be a shame. You seem pretty cool the way you are. I know we just met, but I can already see that you're smart, beautiful, and strong. Uh, I live. I know we're, we just met, but I can already tell you're, he's, he's brave. We'll give him brave. Why do you say that? Well, for one thing, you aren't intimidated by Olivia. She's not as scary as she thinks she is. No, she's not. But that doesn't stop her from ruining people's lives. She can come for mine if she wants to. She'll be sorely surprised to find out not everyone is as easily influenced as she thinks they are. Like I said, brave. Just so you know, I got your back. Thanks, Harley. No problem. I am standing this couple. I'm ready for them. And thanks for bringing me here. Anytime. We should probably get going. I did promise to get you to school in plenty of time. And I always keep my promises. You're right. You ready? Okay, now they're zooming off to their future wedding. Yeah, just give me another minute. No problem. Are they going to hold hands? They're holding hands. They're having a moment. They're having real moments over here. All right, now we're back at school. Thanks for bringing me again, Harley. And on your motorcycle. I have literally never felt such a rush in my life. It was like flying, but better. Who knew you were such a daredevil? Uh, yeah, I guess. I've never really thought about myself that way. What do you think of yourself? I don't know. Studious? She's studious, she's pretty, she has a good personality, she has everything. I think I could gather that much from your intense desire for perfect attendance. Yeah, you got me there. How do you think of yourself? Turn the question around. I don't really. One thing's for sure, though. I'll be thinking of you now. But why? Because I can tell you there's a whole lot more to you than meets the eye. Okay, so we're starting off cute with these two. Well, I should really get to class. Thanks for the ride. Anytime lovely, Catherine. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, baby, your sis Harley and his bike are definitely not out front. What? Maybe they went to school. That's it. It's time loser Catherine got what's coming to her. What are you doing, babe? Calling my mother. Hi, mama. I hate to be the one to tell you this. It's about Catherine. She's going to be so mad that I told you. But you deserve to know the truth. She ditched first, period. She was smoking in the parking lot and then left on some boy's motorcycle. What? Well, she's back now. What should I say to her? Don't you worry about this, Livy. I will deal with her after school. You just focus on your studies today. I will, Mama. Love you. Love you too, Angel. It's so sad when a good girl just goes bad just to fit in. Babe, isn't that a little screwed up? Shut the hell up. I'm getting her before she can get me. I guess we better get to school, too. Oh, I hate that life-ruining loser. Olivia? Well, well, if it isn't loser Catherine, I'm surprised to see you here. I don't know what you mean. You're the one who ditched this morning. What are you talking about? I told mom you ditched. I told her about you smoking and riding off on that guy's motorcycle. What? How could you? I didn't even rat you out. No need to dwell on the past, loser Catherine. I suggest you start worrying about the future and what you're going to say to mom. I'm going to tell her the truth. I hate this girl. Like, what is her issue? Like, what happened to her? Like, she'd even believe you. She always takes my word over yours. You want to know why? Because she loves me more than she loves you. Just like everyone else. Oh, we're going to end you, Olivia. We're going to end you so bad. Why do you hate me so much, Liv? Do you seriously not remember how close we used to be? Why did you let that have to change just because we're different? Different? You know, my life is almost perfect. I'm drop-dead, gorgeous, popular, loved, and feared. I have a boyfriend who worships the ground I walk on and the friends who will do whatever. I said, girl, no one actually likes you. Not to mention a clueless mother. What's your point? Girl, why don't you pull out your camera and record this? Perfect, except for one thing, which is, is it not obvious? Because I think goes without saying. I'm talking about you, you moron. Just look at you. You're my twin, so people associate me with you. And you walk around looking like that? Do you have any idea the kind of things people say about you at school? It's humiliating. You with all your principles and your straight A's. You think you're so smart and yet you can't seem to find a mirror. You're an embarrassment, a waste of space. You could disappear today and no one would notice. Why? Because I'm here. You aren't even really my twin, are you? Because we aren't equals. Oh, we're going to end you so good, Olivia. You're going to wish you never done this. 
everything beautiful and good went into me and you got all the crap that was left over. Don't let her see you cry. Don't let her see you cry. Nothing to say now. Good. Because no one cares. Oh look, mom's here to pick us up. I'm gonna like being an only child. It was nice knowing you, loser Catherine. Not really, but whatever. Oh, we're gonna end this, girl. I d mm, Oh, I'm gonna get the satisfaction. Oh, Harley saw! Oh, and the ride home was tense. No one said a word, but when we got home... Go ahead and go inside, Olivia. I want to speak with your sister alone for a few minutes. Whatever you say, Mama. See you inside, sis. I'm sorry you don't want to be friends. Can you seriously not see how full of crap she is? You're in no position to give me that attitude, young lady. I was just a teenager when I had you girls. I never planned on being a teen mother with twins. Not to mention having to do it all on my own. I come from a strict Catholic family. They disowned me for getting pregnant. So raising you girls was tough. But I don't regret any of it because I love you girls so much. I've made mistakes, but I'm doing my best. I know that, Mom. I think you've been doing great. Obviously not. I won't have you making the same mistakes as me smoking, ditching, what's next, teen pregnancy. I've never known you to be so irresponsible. And to try to influence your sister? What's gotten into you? What's gotten into you? Excuse me? With all due respect, Mom, I love you, but you just said it yourself. You've never known me to do something like this. So why are you so quick to believe everything Olivia says? Olivia causes trouble all the time and you're never this tough on her. All she needs to do is pout and call you mama and everything's fine. Watch the way you speak to your mother. You have a lot of nerve, Catherine. Ditching smoke girl. Fooling around with... Fooling around? What the hell did she tell you? I didn't even go inside that house, Mom. That was Olivia. The whole thing was her idea. Don't put this on your sister. She made a real effort to include you today, Catherine. Let's not forget she's the one who called and told me the truth, not you. You're making zero sense. Think about it for two seconds, Mom. You know I don't have any friends. You also know how important my grades are to me. I've never ditched in my entire life. That's what concerns me so much. Girl, are you stupid? You stupid! This behavior just isn't like you. Now you're refusing to even take responsibility for your actions. How have I missed so many signs that you were in trouble? Are you doing this to get my attention or something? You're just never gonna be on my side, are you? Olivia was right, wasn't she? You do love her more than me. Stop with the dramatics. You know I love you both. I'm just... I thought I could trust you. You can, Mom, if you would just listen. Get out of the car, Catherine. I need to get back to work, and you need to spend some time seriously thinking about your choices. We'll discuss a punishment later. Garbage. Mom says she would discuss my punishment later. But the school week passed and the weekend came, and we still hadn't discussed it, which was driving me crazy. I could tell she was angry with me, which Olivia was loving. But she still wouldn't hear me out. That Saturday afternoon, Mom was at work and Olivia and I were alone in the house. I tried my best to study, but my mind was elsewhere. I found myself reading the same paragraph over and over until finally gave up and put my homework away. When Olivia told me that nobody cared what I had to say, I thought she was just being mean. I didn't think it was actually true. But now, I don't know. Girl, no, we are going to turn this around. They wish. They are going to wish. The week kind of proved that while it was harsh, it was also correct because nobody seemed to hear my side. Girl, we are here for you. We are going to turn this around. I knew I didn't deserve to be treated that way. I just didn't know what to do about it. Why is this happening to me? What is mom going to do? Okay, so I was feeling sorry for myself a bit, but try to understand I can handle being an outcast at school. I'm used to it. But being an outcast in my own home with my own family, that was a tougher pill to swallow. Um, Catherine hasn't come down from a room all day. Come in. Harley. Jackpots. He is so much harder than Trevor. I knew he wanted me. Girl, he doesn't want you. What are you doing here? I know it's weird for me to just show up like this. Not at all. I'm glad you did. What can I do for you? I was actually wondering if your sister was home. What? Ha <laughs> ha, will Harley win your heart? Yes, he is. Will your evil sister be stopped? We are, and we're going to end her mom while we're at it, too. Will your mother alone trust you? Don't care. She's gone. Okay, so that was the end of the first chapter of My Sister's Crush. Let me tell you, Olivia 
we're going to end her. Our girl Catherine is so sweet and such a good soul. And we are going to turn this around. We're going to get our man Harley. And we're going to end Olivia. And our mom, who will not listen and clearly does not care, we're going to end her too. We're going to end them both because our queen is going to rise above. But let me know what you guys think of the story. I am living for it so far. I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to see what happens. But let me know your thoughts and opinions. And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go follow the amazing author. I tried to put a link to their social media in my description box down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye, everyone. Bye.